Hello, kindergarten friends. Today we're going to be talking about using a strategy to help us count a group of objects. And as you can see today, I have a group of ladybugs. So I need to count to find out how many ladybugs I have. But the problem is, as you can see, they're all scattered around my page. That makes it kind of difficult or challenging to count them because I don't want to accidentally miss counting one and I don't want to count any more than once. I will get the wrong number if I do that. So one strategy for counting a group of objects is to line them up. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to take my ladybugs and I'm going to do my best to put them in a nice neat order. So I had one ladybug, two, three ladybugs, please count with me, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ladybugs. So I have a group of ten there. And then I'm going to add one, two, three. So I have a group of 10 ladybugs, as you can see up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle that. I have a group of 10 ladybugs, one group of 10, and then I have three more. One, two, three. Do you see that? A group of 10 and three more makes the number 13. Do you see that? So I would like you to try your best to draw a picture of a group of 10 ladybugs and three more and see how I use that strategy of putting them in a nice straight order. You can pause the video and do that. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, let's count some different items. Let's see, what should we do next? How about, I think I can change these up. Yeah, let's do some frogs. So I'm gonna put some frogs around down here. It's springtime. We might see some frogs around. So I'm gonna put my frogs here, all scattered about, not in a nice straight line. Kind of difficult to count them. Okay, so now I'm gonna practice using the strategy of putting them in a nice straight line. All right, so I'm gonna do my group of 10 first. One, two, three, four, five, oops, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then I'm gonna do Four more, one, two, three, four. So I have, once again, a group of 10, and then one, two, three, four. One group of 10 and four more make the number 14. So you can see how it's much easier to count objects when you have them in a nice straight line. So I would like you now to practice drawing 14 frocks. Circle your group of 10 and then show me the four more. Okay, when you're done with that, you can take a picture of your work and send it to your teacher. Have a great day, friends.